Hello, friends, once again. Welcome to CCM Live. I have not posted a video in such a long time. Um, it's been months. I almost want to say six months, actually. A lot has happened through that time, actually. Um, it's been a little difficult. There's been a lot of challenges, both for my brother and I. Um, I've stopped working out, fell off my diet, started a new relationship down here, surprisingly. Um, my brother has been going through difficulties with his relationship, and uh, he was told that he might need to take some new orders pretty soon, so which would require him to move. And because of uh, other fortune circumstances, he had to take a second job, so he hasn't been able to really help out too much with CCM ads. And we both have really split up in terms of like, we haven't dedicated enough time to CCM ads because we're focusing on other things. Um, and it's been difficult uh, to focus on the business uh, when, I mean, there's a lot of things thrown at you. So many of you know, if, I mean, at this point, I don't even have that many followers or anything, but for those who have been following or look at the history or whatnot, and again, this is more like a progress for me, um, or kind of like a journal. Um, many of you guys know, I don't want to be a nurse anymore. I became a nurse back in, uh, graduated in December, 2018. So really I started uh, practicing nursing in 2019. And I started kind of in a step-down unit, uh, tele step-down, and then from there, I went to a telemetry unit in another hospital because the hospital I started at closed within six months. From there, I uh, kind of wanted to just do the ICU. So this is 2019. Uh, COVID started coming out a little bit towards uh, later throughout the time. So then, uh, or no, this was technically, I did a few months. And then somehow COVID started coming by. And then uh, I've been telling people like, you know, I want to go into ICU and stuff. That's kind of where I wanted to be at in the first place. Uh, finally, the ICU actually reaches out to me from that hospital. They're like, hey, we've been hearing good things about you. We want you over here. Um, keep in mind, up until this point, like ever since I was in second semester of nursing school, never liked it, never liked nursing. The whole reason why I did it was because I wanted to become a physician um, and I don't know what I wanted to do with that really. It, it, and most, most of the thing is I, I, it was mostly money driven um, to become a physician. I mean, I wanted to take care of some people too, but it, it's just something you have to dedicate your life entirely to from the day you begin. Um, and it's a 24 seven thing, you know, that kind of, that's kind of what sucks. There's really no freedom for a lot of things. Um, made my way to the ICU, became the assistant manager. Um, and quite frankly, a lot of the physicians there, I mean, I was telling them about my dream of like, you know, I did nursing to become, or as a stepping stone to become a physician, go to med school. Uh, ideally I kind of want to become a, um, a critical care physician. And most of the fellows and residents said, don't do it, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the money. It's not worth the wasted years you have from your family and friends. Because by realistically, I mean, uh, let's say it's 12 years, you know. Um, I can't math right now in my head. Uh, but let's say at 18, you graduate four years, like high school, four years of college to get just your bachelor's uh, would put you at... 22 and so now you're 22 you get into med school and everything uh the four years of basic med school will put you at 26 and then the three to four years let's say four years of residency will put you at 30 and then the, uh three or four years of fellowship will pretty much put you at uh 33 34 you do not get to enjoy life pretty much until you are 33 or 34. And I mean, myself right now, I'm 28. And if I started this life pretty much, one, I would have to go back to get my black, my bachelor's, which I quit, I dropped out. I it, Realistically, that whole 
from associate in nursing to bachelor's in nursing is just a BS scam. I call it the BS nursing degree because it's just papers and all these like you did not get all these requirements and prereqs and everything. You don't learn anything. There's nothing that makes me a better nurse going from my associates to my bachelor's. There's absolutely nothing. And quite frankly, I've seen a lot of the better nurses who have associates be and have experience be better than the ones who have bachelor's and have absolutely no experience whatsoever. Because yes, it comes with experience, a lot of it. A lot of it you learn on the job. And sometimes, quite frankly, it's like you mess up and you're like, I'm never going to make that mistake ever again. Or from you learn tips and tricks from the older nurses. That's just how life goes. And that's kind of true in a lot of other instances, too. But anyway, um, that's that's one reason why I was like, you know, I, I'm, I'm dropping out of that. And that was very close, actually. Um, but I, I do not want to pursue that. I do not want to do anything nursing wise. And quite honestly, like most nursing uh, jobs and careers, they're always pushing this narrative like we want someone to have their bachelor's degree, which, again, I mean, the ADN versus the BSN, they earn the same license. It's just a college degree at this point, which is pretty stupid to me, but whatever. Um, so that's, that's that pretty much. Um, back to kind of the, some of the history, I just kind of went off on a tangent, uh, became the assistant manager for a few years and then decided I kind of want to start this business up, left nursing momentarily, um, just to get the business started and then started travel nursing, uh, in a little town, uh, in North Carolina. Uh, it's the closest I can find to be with my brother. Uh, two hours away from Jacksonville, North Carolina, where he's at stationed right now. Um, so I've been there for pretty much almost three quarters of a year. And I haven't really focused on my business as much because, again, this took a lot of time, a lot of overtime. The money. So here's the other thing. The money was fine enough to where you're like, I'm not going back like or you hate the job. You're like, I, I really hate it but it gives me the money. So I'm coming back to be that slave for that place, you know, for nursing. And most of it is just a disrespect I cannot stand. And I can see myself hating, uh, like if I were to take the medical route, like to be, become a medical doctor, physician, whatever you want to call it, I would hate it for this reason too, because I would have no respect. And a lot of it comes to the respect that I have uh, or people have towards me, you know as a nurse so and what do I, by respect i mean in three different levels right there is a respect for a uh, patient to nurse a lot of the patients especially in chicago this is true a lot of the patients just have absolutely no respect uh, that would be whether it's your time um what you have to say what you recommend what you want them to do to get better because otherwise they stay there forever and and it's difficult because a lot of times you're trying to teach them and they just don't listen or they're just very stuck in their own ways or like I'm going to do this because I said so you know I'm not saying my way or the highway absolutely not and I've always been one of those nurses like you know what the rule says this I don't care you know let's just like I don't care if you break the rule like one instance like um all these people who like a cardiac diets you know um because they're they're in cardiac uh they have a cardiac issue you know and quite frankly like i i talked to them you know like i mean you probably shouldn't be eating uh other stuff uh, blah 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 you know but a lot of them just don't want to listen because quite frankly the american way for a lot of things is like hopefully there's a magic pill which people get mad when they come to the hospital because they they hope for that magic pill and we don't have that magic pill for them but anyway um they get mad, so they're like, well, I wanted to eat, blah, 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 and they're just hissy at you, and so, I mean, I'm like, just bring your pizza then, I don't care, I mean, if you want to die of living this lifestyle, who am, like, I am your nurse, but I'm not going to stop you from living this lifestyle, you know, and there's nurses who go, they get into arguments and everything, but to me, it's just stupid, you know, there's all these stupid reasons why we get into arguments with patients, and it's very annoying, you know, it's one thing dealing with little 
psych grandma or grandpa or trying to get out of bed and everything. And then all these overdosed people, you know, who we don't help and we actually, as a society, almost promote it. You know, there's really no help. And uh, we can get into politics and everything, but that's a different thing. You know, I'm just tired of that. Um, disrespect for management. And I played some role in management myself, too, actually. And I've always tried to be fair and the one who's actually um, like in the trenches with my nurses. Um, and, and I mean, this was more of like the assistant management role. So it was kind of like a hybrid of like you take patients, you're charge nurse, you still have the management duties, but you're also, well, that taking management duties. So I did all the schedules. I went to a lot of meetings. I had all these programs going on. I was quite known in my previous facility uh, for a lot of those things. And a lot of the things we kind of worked on in programs and a lot of improvement stuff. Um, and I, I want to say I was not, not renowned, but it was like, you know, he's a decent guy, you know, he's at least trying to do the right thing, but he gets shut down all the time. And like, for instance, like I, I keep telling them, like, we need more, like, can we get help? Or another thing I hate is like the ICU was always seen as a dumping ground. You know, it's like, we want to, we don't want to deal with this problem. ICU. Or, yeah, this is too much. We don't know what to do. I see you. Um, and it's always been very annoying, very frustrating, especially as a charged nurse and someone on a, a 31 bed unit. It's very difficult. Um, and then you have to deal with the nurses who don't respect you, uh, especially as a charged nurse, or they just give up. They're, they're not problem solvers most of the time. Um, they just come up and they're like, I don't know how to do this. It's like, did you try? No, I just don't know how to do it. Like, well, look, I mean, I am a resource and stuff, but you need to kind of troubleshoot your own stuff before you can actually just give up and be like, I can't do it. And you don't know how many times people actually do that. Even people who are, have been nurses longer than I have, they just kind of give up and like, I can't do it. Well, that's because I do the work for you. And I want to say, quite frankly, a lot of it can be burnout too, but I just dislike since day one what I do. Um... And it's just more frustrating. So now I dislike what I'm doing. I have to deal with children and I have to put up with patients and now I have to deal with management who's not giving me staff, not giving me resources and pushing for us to take care of more patients. Why am I supposed to stay as a nurse? Why am I supposed to keep doing this enslaved work for very crappy pay pretty much? I mean, if really you don't go agency, there's really like the pay actually sucks and I would not do it as regular staff, quite honestly. And you're never guaranteed with agency that you're, you're going to get your next job around wherever you want it. For instance, I do ICU mainly. It's very difficult for me to find an ICU position in North Carolina right now because I want to be close to my brother. Very difficult. And I mean, if you find some of the places or in some of the hospitals that are known to be not the greatest and their positions that I mean, suck even more. Like I see you, you get your two, three patients. And a lot of times like the place I'm at, they're pushing for three because they combine ICU and step down. And so now we're always taking three. And even if it's three intensive care patients, you know, um, but there's places that, you know, <laughs> They're desperate. I mean, the most they're paying right now is like 2000 per week, which who am I to complain? You know, whatever. But I mean, all the work you have to go through and be disrespected tremendously like that, to me, it's just not not worth it, you know, especially on the long, like on the long run, it's just not worth it. Um, the medical field in a lot of ways is just rigged in many different ways. Like it's all about finding like, how to get that next dollar. It, I mean, realistically, if, if you really look at the history of like where medicine came from, uh, AKA the Rockefellers, you can look that up if you want. Um, it started being rigged since the beginning. I just, I mean, from step one, it's been stupid. Why do I want to continue that? It's just, and I mean, you're working for someone else, you're under their rules, which, I mean, that's an employment. Some people are happy with that. I'm not. I mean, I'm not. And all these rules and 
because I mean, and I get the continuous education to be like, all right, we got to keep up with our skills and everything, which people do skills, but then they cheat on it. You don't know how many times people go down to CPR and they bring a friend to because they got to renew their CPR card and they they just bring a friend so they can do their CPR on their mannequin. It's all computerized. You don't learn anything. <laughs> it's very surprising how like unintelligent people are and they follow all these stupid algorithms and everything and they don't even know these algorithms and they can't put there's no common sense a lot of these people don't have common sense anymore that's what boggles me that's what that's scary to me and i'm not even that smart myself either but at least i try to find a reason and everything and i try to befriend the residents and the doctors because if we do something i want to know why we're doing it but a lot of people they're like doctor ordered it so i'm just gonna do it or they're like, well, superior says I got to do this. Why, do, why don't you question anything? That's your job as someone, as a nurse. You assess, you ask, and you make sure that the patient gets the best care. It just boggles me a lot. I don't know. That's not something I want to do anymore, you know. Um, there's just very little incentive for me to keep doing the right thing. I make the same amount of money as a lazy traveler um, than I did even like an assistant manager uh, full time, um, you know, and like wh why, <laughs> what's, I mean, I, I took traveling and I'm still giving it my 100% because me as a human being, as a Christian, I give everything my 100% knowing that I'm helping those patients out. But at what cost? Like at the cost of me, like pretty much building up the stress and everything and doing something I really don't enjoy. But the patients that I've had have always been appreciative and the families and everything of what I do and the work and everything. But I mean, most of the time I just like it's just some disrespect from from some level that it comes at a cost that and I'm tired of fighting that fight. It's actually more political in terms of like um, with the hospitals, you know, it's just one of those fights that you're it's really impossible to win at this point. And there, there's some people who love it, you know, like they kind of just take the politics out of that and take whatever. And they're like, you know what, I'm just here. I have a great friend that um, uh, well, she, I have someone I uh, know, a colleague in uh the workplace i'm at right now which i'll be leaving pretty soon fyi um she she loves doing this like she'll take care of the patients and she's been tra doing traveling forever and now she's settled so she took a full-time job at the place i'm still at right now but i mean she'll take four patients if she had to in the icu you know um and that's just very difficult like i i get the need for some of these people getting that care but at what point does it become very unsafe and I've been at that point where it's super unsafe to do a lot of these things. But they, I mean, and I get it, the ER is backed up. And so now we're backed up and they're trying to push for all these people. I'm like, what do you do? And then all these people and patients and everything, when some of the stupidest and oddest requests and everything, I mean, it's like, can you, you got to stop. Can you prioritize or clump stuff together? It's like, there's just never any way to win. And it's always, I always dread waking up going to work and that's not what i want to do hence why i started ccm ads because i'm tired of this i don't want to discourage anyone from becoming a nurse going to nursing school doing all that these are my <laughs> personal experiences with it and why i just want to leave to the point where I don't want to renew my license. It's my it's time to renew the Illinois license. I'm <laughs> probably not renewing that. And North Carolina, just keep my license. I, I don't think I want it. I'll rather just work on my business and work to help people um, get their businesses going with advertisements and possibly even start a real estate company too. Because at least with the business, the more work I put in and the better the job I do, I get it, I get better outcomes. 
I can see that I've done better and I'll earn more money. Whereas with nursing, no matter how well you do, I mean, you'll the only win you'll know is that your patient is fine and that's it. And sometimes they're not even thankful for it. And it hurts me a little bit as a Christian to know that I'm leaving this um, and not helping people like the way they should. Because a lot of the, I want to say a lot, but just uh, some nurses just do, do it for the paycheck too. They clock in, they're on their phones most of the time, and they don't even know what to do half the time. They just kind of follow orders, and I, I don't want to work on that. I don't want to work along those people. Everywhere I go, I become the resource nurse of, like, if we have an issue, call Carlos. And it sucks to be the best one at your job in a place where no one wants to do anything or when people become lazy because then I pick up after everyone, and I hate that. Again, that's just my experience. I don't know, you know. So take it with a grain of salt. This is, again, just the journal of my progress of everything I'm going through, everything I'm doing, um, my plans uh, right now. Um, I'm just going to focus on the business the next few months. I've saved a lot during COVID and invested that stuff. And that's what I'm going to use to be out of nursing and run the business for a while, see where we can take with that. And again, and if it doesn't start up, then we'll take another nursing job, even if it's PRN per diem, something, you know, um, and then keep running with that. Um, but my focus, my biggest focus is going to be the business there's a lot of potential and a lot of growth you can do with that if done correctly with dedication effort and time and i want to make sure my brother does not re-enlist um, for another few years because i know he does not want to do that and i want to take care of my family and others too essentially but i need to take care of myself first in order to get to that point So I'm back in business. I'm working on the business now. Looking at every single detail where I probably did not see you uh, going right. Or I uh, overlooked. And I'm looking at every single of those details. I'm working on myself to improve physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and building a better connection and relationship with God. And I'm trying to mold my relationship so, um, yes, I can put effort into it too, but so my relationship can help me grow and I can help her grow so we can grow together. So that's my take. That's just my progress. Um, I'll try to keep up doing some videos, mostly of my progress. Um, so yeah, well, thanks for watching my little rant and journal about why I'm leaving nursing, why I hate it so much. All right, take care, y'all.